that right there is absolute world-class rainbow. Might catch a fish today, I promise you, here on the after option. Outdoor option. My daddy taught way of life. I passed down to my kids. Showed me how to shoot and hunt and fish and how to live. Said I was born for the great outdoors, but the choice is up to you. Man, I always choose the outdoor option. It's outdoor option. Outdoor option. It's outdoor option. This is us. This is what we're all about. Outdoor option. That's the life I choose. Outdoor option. The Outdoor Option is brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras, Suzuki, The Remington Outdoor Company, Ignite the Hunt, Deer Supplements and Attractants, Skag Power Equipment, Orca Coolers, Just an Original Work Boots, Sheffield Financial, Rhino Blinds, and Ten Point Crossbow Technologies. As a team and as a family, we all love to fish. And Bubba Dark down here on the South Holston River in Tennessee always does a great job at getting us into holes that have big numbers. And that's why we love to fish with him. <laughs> Fighting like a steelhead. <laughs> Brown is only about you know, 14, 15 inches, but he's fighting like a 24 incher. Oh, it's a rainbow. Wired up. Yeah. Wired up. 15 inches. Yep. Proud of it. Very nice. First fish of the day. Those are the kind of fights we like. He just kept taking off on runs. I guess he was fighting like a, like a steelhead would up in Michigan or something. Look at that. Look at the colors. Speaking of steelhead, <laughs> the colors on that fish are just silver as can be. Absolutely gorgeous. When it comes to fishing, there's days where you don't catch anything, and there's days where it seems like every time you put the line in the water, there's a fish on. And that's what it seems to be like every time we fish with Bubba. He's right here waiting for you, Bubba. Hey, man. There it is. Yeah. That's a good one. Hey, it's healthy. Pretty, pretty, pretty. These fish are green today, man. Fighting like crazy. It's Bubba knowing and being very uh, well briefed on what the trout are hitting on and what the flies and the, and, the, and the food that the fish are feeding on. And he does what he needs to do in order to make sure his clients get into the fish. Look at this guy right here. Look at the colors on these rainbow. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Beautiful. Painted on colors, and they are fighting like crazy today. And catching these rainbow like this on the fly rod, just unbelievable. It's one of the most natural, best feelings in the world, having a big old trout on the end of a fly rod. So we'll get him back in the water and try to get his brother or sister.
Closed captioning of the outdoor option is provided by the Remington Outdoor Company. This segment of the outdoor option is brought to you by Justin Original Work Boots. I'm going to catch a fish today. You know, I can't imagine, uh, you know, having any trout fishing anywhere in the country that's, that's any better. You know, this, this is a great fishery down there in Tennessee, and we've always had success every time we go. Yeah, it's a little brown. Look at that. Here we go. What we're after, that would be the bait for. Yeah, pretty little brownie. Let him go back in the water and grow up to be a big one. I tell you, it's fun when they're hitting like this, and on the fly rod, whether it's a 12 incher or a 24 incher, they both feel pretty darn good on the end of a fly rod. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Stand. Yeah. That was a good one. That felt good. Right, put a little bit of line out there. Nice little rainbow. Pretty guy. Nice call, Bubba. Pretty guy, pretty guy. Alright, we'll send him back in and let him grow up and get bigger. There he goes. You know, trout fishing is one of the best ways to do it because, you know, there's nothing to interrupt. There's no cell phones. There's no, you know, you know, emails. There's no nothing. It's just, you know, spending quality time out there on a river or stream. It doesn't get any better than that. Wow, it's another nice fish. This is great. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, we got to back that drag down just a I, little bit from the back side. From the back side. On the back side. There you go. T turn towards you. Is that all, what it's all about? Fantastic. Huh? Absolutely. Don't have to go to Alaska to catch mm -hmm. them either. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. It's a good fish. You know, the key to fighting these big fish is as soon as they start giving a little pull, keep your hand clear of the reel. Because you will lose him, give him any pressure. This fish is fighting good.
Yes. Beautiful. Hey man, right there it is. Thank you. Beautiful rainbow. Look at this, a little football. Look at that. 14, 15 inches, just good stout. A lot of fish in that size. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And the quality of fish are just amazing. You know, you never expect to catch fish like this down here on the South Holston in Tennessee. But they're everywhere. You know, big, solid, strong fish. Big rainbow trout. The Outdoor Option is brought to you by these fine sponsors. This segment of the Outdoor Option is brought to you by Orca Coolers. Caught some great fish today, absolutely fantastic fish just like this one. Good, good solid 19 inch rainbow, um, just absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It's been a pleasure. A lot of times, you know, when the water level gets a little bit low, you know, the drift boats will spook some of the fish. And so Bubba had the idea that this time we were going to get out further upstream, we were going to walk down the shore, and we were going to come in from down below and, and uh, hit a couple of holes. What a beautiful fish. We were right here in one of these runs that was coming right down where the water was starting to still run. And it's like fishing from the side of a stream. Second float through, this baby came right through there. What a beautiful South Holston fish. Nice rainbow, healthy, look how thick. Just as healthy as could be, ready to go right back in the river. This is why we chose the outdoor option. It's moments like this, and it's fish like this. Beautiful rainbow trout here in Tennessee. This is when you end up losing them down here because yeah. you, you just get that far away and you can't keep them up off the bottom. Very nicely done, Danny, very nicely done, buddy. There goes backing. <laughs> What we'll have to keep in mind is what we got to come around whenever we come to the net. Right. So we'll try to, to find to some, yeah. Right. We'll try to find somewhere like left. right there. All right, let's just keep going with him then. All right, go ahead and just stand still. Say, go ahead and put that thing on. All right. Well, we're gonna have to get right. to where you just guys come, are. Just come back this way, and we'll see if we can get him to come back down the bank here a little bit. Another good rise. God dang, there's some big ones in here, isn't there? Some studs. Very nicely done, Danny. All right, we'll keep, we'll just keep trying to go down, and I'm gonna get out on that flat rock right there and see if I can get a net on him for you. Whichever way he wants to go, we'll just go with him. Oh, we got a big fish right here trying to get him netted. He's been fighting us like crazy. There he is. Oh, that's a big rainbow trout. That is a big rainbow. That's another just cookie cutter 19, 19 inch fish. Gorgeous. Catching and fighting these fish down in the dam was totally different than being very, in the boat. Nice. You know, now we're out on our feet. We can move left to right across the dam with the fish. And it's a whole different fight. You know, much stronger, bigger Beautiful. fish down here. Picture perfect. Number two on the dam. At one point, both my dad and I each had fish on, and this was really exciting to watch our cameramen run back and forth because the dam's about 100 yards wide, and I'm on one end and my dad's on the opposite. So I hook onto a fish, we look down, and my dad's got one on, so the cameramen have to run all the way down this dam with water running over it, trying not to slip, but it was really fun because just a workout for them. And it's, you know, moments like that that are really a blast because Danny had a big smile on his face he couldn't get rid of and 
and I was just proud as could be, but then I was really happy to be hooking into some myself too, so it's kind of the best situation you can ever ask for. So we're having a good day today? Having a great day. Came down here to this dam, about lunchtime, noon, and now it's two o'clock, and between me and my dad, we've caught six rainbow trout all over. 18 inches. Right there, Dan. Yeah. Try that with, uh, with a long lean one like that. Very nice. Very nice. I'm losing my. I'm losing my strength. Hold on. Hang on. You got me. You know, you get these guys in the way. You know, it's kind of like when you watch football and the camera guy's too close to the field and he gets run over and knocked on his butt. Okay. When you fly fishing. Okay, stand on my left side. <laughs> <laughs> the Outdoor Option is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Stay connected with the Outdoor Option team. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'd love to hear from you and see your pictures. This segment of the Outdoor Option is brought to you by the Remington Outdoor Company. Every time my dad came home from a fishing trip down in Tennessee, he always had stories about how great the fly fishing was, and I wanted to take a look at it for myself. You know, with, with Shannon, it's always about, you know, school first, and she kind of works her schedule around that. And, you know, after catching fish like we did, you know, several times being down there, I wanted to get her down there to experience that. A week or so later, we went back down there and, and got together with Bubba again, and uh, we brought my brother Tony down there too to, to get into some action, and he got into a big one. But today, the luck of the Irish was definitely on Shannon. Right there he is, fish number one. Yay! First fish on the fly rod that my grandpa got me last year for my birthday. Yeah, getting, it, getting it broke in right. <laughs> getting it broke in right. Well, he was stuck too. Number one on the new rod. Gorgeous fish. I finally got a chance to go fish with Bubba, and everything I heard about Tennessee fishing was true. After the first two casts, the fish started biting right away. Almost here. Is it? Yeah, he's right there. This was definitely my favorite kind of fishing. Every time I put the line in the water, I either had a fish on the line or a hit. Gorgeous. Get, him, man, get another one. There you go. Right on. You know, I'm really proud of my little sister to be able to work a fly rod like that and bring in the same caliber of fish that I did. Oh my god! <laughs> nice fish right there. That's 
to do a I don't think we need to change up. <laughs> you like that fly? Yeah. All right. He's still fish. He's still juiced up. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Is that bigger than your other one? <laughs> yeah. Heck yes. Heck yes. Gorgeous fish. I really recommend the fishing in Tennessee. It was great and it finally gave me the opportunity to catch something on my fly rod. All the different days we spent fishing the South Holston River in Tennessee this year added up to be a great year of trout fishing for us. Bubba got us into some great rainbow trout. We got to spend quality time together with my dad, my grandpa, and my sister. We just made memories that last a lifetime down there on the South Holston. It's, it's really cool to be able to have it that close to home, be able to get there and have a fishery that you can have a lot of fun with and go back many times during the course of the summer.